They may have found Petito's body in Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. Brian Laundrie this evening is still missing. Fox 13 Sydney Glenn joins us live from Wyoming this afternoon. Sydney, this has to be very disturbing for other people in the park. Very disturbing and very unsettling is what we've heard today. Everybody from here in the National Park all the way to Jackson Hole, which is about 30 miles away, talking about this case and saying it's just really unsettling to hear something like this happening in these beautiful mountains. On what should be a fun trip to see all nature has to offer in Wyoming. Didn't expect that one coming here. A dark cloud looms as news spread of Gabby Petito likely being found dead. It's a little scary when you hear about such things. Kyle Johnson and his fiance Courtney Mutchler say it's scary. I was there, it definitely is. Just because you don't know what exactly happened, you don't know who could be out there exactly. Husband and wife Nilesh and Sharu Singh have been closely following this case ever since they booked the trip. And then suddenly from Google, we started getting this news that uh, this woman is missing. So suddenly on a daily basis, it started to appear on my news feed. Now seeing law enforcement here, they're feeling uneasy. Uh, we've just been trying to keep our eyes yep. and ears open and just to know what's happening and what's the government doing about this and how safe are we really. This news has kept us like always checking the news, following it, and not go off trails. Just make a plan and stick to it. The big question on everyone's mind, what really happened in these mountains? And I really am curious to hear about the boyfriend side of the story. Uh, it seems like that's, it's going to fill in uh, all the details, all the information to, uh, especially the, the, the girl's family. Uh, I'm sure I they need it. The Teton County coroner has confirmed an autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow on the body that was that was found right near here, um, believed to be of Gabby Petito. We have also learned that the lawyer for the Laundry family will be speaking tomorrow. Of course, we're going to be continuing to follow this case very closely. Live in Teton County, Wyoming, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah.